The dang on Illuminati, ho. <laughs> girl, girl just made a triangle out the oranges. I must be bored. These cookies smell so good. Oh. <laughs> They don't look like how I thought they would look. And I think it's only because the way I chopped up the chocolate. Like, look at these. Could have chopped up the chocolate like a little less fine. Now it just looks like speckled. But I'm gonna take them out, let them cool down. Beautiful. I love a freshly baked cookie. Okay, let's taste the first cookie, ho. Ooh, I have to say that that's a perfect cookie. Oh my God. Wow. That is really good. Oh my goodness. Beautiful crunch, but it's chewy. I also did a three to one ratio of dark chocolate to milk chocolate. All milk chocolate is like too sweet and it just tastes like a candy bar. All dark chocolate, I'm like, okay, this is a little too much, a little bitter. Brown butter really comes through. Where the milk at? Every time I look at this, I think of Emma Chamberlain. Is Chamberlain coffee, do they have like a similar identity? I love using my little, um, what are these called? I can't remember what these are called. But you bake creme brulee and stuff in them. Mm. I'll see y'all later. So my mom sent me something in the mail. It was for Christmas because I didn't go to the East Coast. So she sent me this little box. So she was like, it's supposed to be there tomorrow. So anyway, it got here today. I'm gonna open it. My mom is like the sweetest person on earth. Like every time I think about it, I, I start to tear up. She's been through so much. I mean, I've been through a lot. And to think about what my mom has gone through, I'm like, how did she carry three kids on her back by herself while she was going through so much? And she's still smiling. See, this stuff kind of makes me want to cry. Oh. <laughs> she like loves me so much and I, I don't get that love from anybody else. Who else can love you like a mom? I don't even know what these are, but she wrapped it. She's so cute. I can just see her with her little scotch tape. I don't know what this is, but she wrapped that as well. And then of course, <laughs> I don't, know why, I don't know why my mom does this stuff. Whenever I'm around her and I mention anything that like I need to go buy or I'm running out of something, she will send me it in the mail. When I was in college, she called me on the phone. She asked me what I was doing and I was like, I'm washing laundry, but I, I forgot bleach. So I have to go out, like go get bleach. The next day I had like six things of bleach at my doorstep in my dorm. <laughs> That's just who she is. But she wrote this little note. She says, here's some toothpaste. I thought you might like. <laughs> she got me toothpaste. Toothpaste, which actually is a great gift because the girls don't be thinking about toothpaste. Although I don't use whitening, and this is like whitening. I try not to at least. The few times that people have visited me though here, they always ask for toothpaste. So this would be nice to kind of just have. Thank you, mom, for that. I feel like this is a bar of soap. I already know who she is. Like this is who she is. She loves like bars of soap and like cute little things. What is this? <laughs> Oh, snap, ho. Oh. I thought this was a bar of soap. The girl got me Versace, ho. Versace men's fragrance on the toilet. Oh my God, okay. I was just, literally, I just put from Scentbird, I just sprayed myself and I was like, I need to get some um, some fragrance. Thank you, mom. I appreciate this so much. And then she got me this. This better not be what I think it is. My mom is so sweet. Is this more fragrance? Is this Mambo? I'm gonna cry. No way. No way. When I was maybe seven or eight, my mom started getting me this fragrance called Mambo and she loved it so much. And she would buy it for me every single year for Christmas. I was a foster kid. I was in and out of foster care. Sometimes I would be back with my mom. Then I'd be in foster care, back with my mom in foster care. But whenever I was with her, the like weird skippy kind of time that I was with her, she would buy me this for Christmas. This cologne right here. Mamba. And I, I was like eight years old and I was like, I don't really care about cologne. But I would wear it to school and then I would tell everybody, oh, my mom got me cologne, it's Mambo. It's actually a really cute bottle. I'm gonna cry. Cause I remember this from when I was younger. Oh, uh, Mambo. My mom is the greatest gift I think that like God has given me for sure. Oh, thank you, mom. And then this, she got me this as well. I'm gonna have to call her immediately. I can't even see now, because girl, my eyes are watering. From mommy to William, Merry Christmas. Okay. She really wanted me to come to the East Coast this Christmas, but there was too much going on with the airlines and the tickets were so expensive. It was all my fault. I waited till the last minute. Where is my mom getting all this money from? <laughs> Girl, where is my mom getting this money from? Why'd I say Chanel? Oh, girl, what is this? Is this like some kind of a little? I've never got anything from Chanel. This is this is kind of crazy. Mom, how did she even order this? How does she even know how to? <laughs> it's like all wrapped up. There's like a like a wax stamp. Oh, my mom, my mom, I'm so blessed. 
Blue de Chanel. How crazy is it that I literally five minutes ago, I was like, I need to buy myself a fragrance or something. And then like a shower gel as well. How blessed. And I think this is like a fragrance sample because they always give you samples. This is Rouge à l'Eau Lac. I don't know how to say these. Oh, this is like a, some kind of lip color, maybe? I don't know. Om um, Sport. Oh, let me call her. So I got some mail from you all from at my P.O. box. I just want to like open that. Give me a second. Bro, I have so much, so many papers. I'm turning into my mom. My mom always has like a billion and one papers just hanging out. But this one is from Tayana in Philadelphia. I'm going to open this up. I, I think I remember one of y'all saying that y'all wanted to send me a letter. So I'm just going to open it up. It's a cute little envelope. Thank you, sis. What's this? Some of y'all be sending me some wild, crazy stuff. And I, I ain't never talking about that. I'm not trying to enable y'all. Oh, little Christmas card. Oh. Aw, you cute, sis. Aw. Merry Christmas. May this season be full of light and laughter for you and your loved ones from Tayana and the pups. It's a picture of her and her puppies. Uh, these are such cute doggies. Okay, brave. Aw. <laughs> these are so cute. Should I show it? I don't know if I, you want me to show it or not. Okay, you sent me like a little note, a little hammer note. This is so cute. Oh, come on. Oh my God, not the, not the cursing, sis. Dear Will, happy holidays. I am watching Vlogmas Day 12 while I work on sending Christmas cards, so I thought it would be nice to send you one as well. Thanks for the joy you've spread this season and in general. I will never forget your wash day. Girl, my food is ready. Your wash day. ASMR video. I show that video to people to this day. I hope this um, remainder of 2022 is wonderful and the start of 2023 treats you well. Warmest regards, Tay. And you can put your Instagram, TayW.Cello. You put a cello? P.S. Sorry for the scribbling. <laughs> Girl, me too. Same. Sorry for the scribbling because I'll I be doing that on everything. Every time I got to fill out a form for the doctor, for, you know, DMV stuff, whatever it is. Girl, you give me a ballpoint pen, I'm making a mistake. Yeah, and I'm scribbling it out and I'm writing next to it. Because why the line be so short and my email is so long? But thank you so much. This was actually very sweet. I appreciated this. Um, this makes me want to send like more um, like handwritten notes to people. Because I think that, that like touched me. This one is from Raquel over in New York. Sometimes people will send you stuff and it'll be like, what is this? Aww, cute little... Little art, <laughs> yes. Wait, first of all, how you know I like cow print? How you know I like cow print, sis? Thank you so much for coming. These are cute. It's like a um little canvas. If I had a locker, oh, I do have a locker. I could put this up in my locker. And this one says, "Be my friend, be my homie." You can't, you can't really see. It's hard to kind of see, but I can see it, and that's the only thing that matters. Thank you, Raquel. I appreciate that, and I appreciate y'all who send like stuff to my PO box because it's like a nice little treat when I go to the PO box. Whenever somebody is sending me PR stuff, I like to have it go there. So whenever I get stuff from y'all as well, it's like, oh, this is this is sweet. This is a rare moment because I get to show you all what my hair looks like right after a wash and go, where I know for certain that the wash and go is going to last me about a week because it's going to get bigger it's going to get fluffier but it's going to maintain the definition this is after using my usual products uh what did i use i used madam cj walker's curl and define stretch cream or something like that and then on top of that just what line extreme gel this is it okay you see how it's like defined like there's mineral minimal frizz it's defined all the way out this is what i look for guess who's going out to the coffee shops me um, except if I go in here and it's crowded as hell because this is it's like a cafe coffee shop cute But you know, oftentimes it's really crowded. The food is really good. Like I went on one tender date I don't know if it was a date or not. Don't really know. We got food that one time and I was like the food is really tasty It's actually really nice outside today as well. So I could just sit outside But see the vibes are cute. But it's not that crowded <laughs> Dang, girl, get some light up in here. Why is it so dark? Anyway, it feels like there's a lot of light right there, but maybe not. Anyway, I just did something that I uh, haven't done in a very long time. Maybe like not since college. I just ordered pizza at 12 a.m. 
<clears throat> yeah, girl, I ordered pizza from this place called Freak Brothers. I'm sorry, what am I actually gonna get here? <laughs> I'm scared, but I'm gonna go pick it up a little far away, but I'm gonna go get it. Anyway, uh, I just got a pepperoni pizza because I just want it. I, I sat here and convinced myself that I wanted pizza. I was like, oh, let's just take the night off because I was gonna continue working, but I needed to have better boundaries with that. So I was like, just sit down, take off of work. Now I'm sitting here like, oh, what do I do now? Like twiddling my fingers. So I put on Southside. And I was like watching that for a few seconds. And then I was like, actually, I just want to watch TikToks. And then I watched TikToks. And then I was like, this is boring. I want to eat. And so I made, <laughs> made cookies from some batter that I already had. As I'm cooking, the, baking the cookies, they in the oven. I don't want these things. I don't want no cookies. What I actually want is pizza. That's what I really should have put in the oven is pizza. And you know what? I actually have Lil Yachty's pizza still in my freezer. I just don't know if it's good to eat. Like, I'm probably not going to eat it. I know I'm not going to eat it because I don't. I'm like, oh, is it good to eat or not? But... I always leave stuff in the freezer just in case, I don't know, girl, in an apocalypse or something. I'll have at least some, even though if it's not, even if it's like going to kill me, at least I'll be eating on the way out. I got my pizza house. Yes. Yum. Yummy, yum, yum. It's like very thin. There she goes. I'm not too thrilled about the crust. <laughs> Y'all know that crust going to be burnt and charcoal. But it's all good. Not the aftermath. Like, I was feral last night. Oh, the carcass. But you can see I didn't eat the crust because it was burnt up. I got it from this place called Freak Brothers. I would hate to, like, buy a box like this just knowing that people are going to throw it in the trash. I guess it helps with marketing, but the way I'm not ordering from here again because that the thing was burnt. Look! Burned up. Anyway, it's Saturday, and the girls always try to play YouTubers being like, oh, they don't work too much. They don't work at all. It's like, y'all, we are all working. Everybody. We are all working in ways that are unseen by the other. How about we all give each other a break? I don't have to be at a certain place at a certain time, but I have to be somewhere for a certain amount of time for me to get anything done. There are certain things that I get to do that I think are fun. Like, I can just go tomorrow to Costa Rica, but you got to have the money for Costa Rica. Two, you still have to work while you're in Costa Rica. You have to work on weekends, and the girls don't know what it's like to go from zero subscribers to even 10, and then to turn that into, like, a steady income. Anyway. Okie dokie. After a long day of working, it's Sunday, which is the day that I usually take off but really when i say i'm going i'm taking off on sunday it's usually oh i get to like work uninterrupted um anyway i'm gonna go live tonight like i have to go live like i should go live i want to try tabitha brown's vegan food so i'm gonna make a burger tonight for dinner i'm like perpetually confused on whether or not it's cold enough or warm enough rather for just a t-shirt you know what i mean one thing i know i'm gonna do though is moisturize these elbows girl always get the elbows every time i go i make sure i put a little bit more elbow elbow moisture on because girl this stuff is so good i also need to get fruit and chia seeds i should write this down because i'm gonna be so angry if i get back to this house and i don't have any of those things back again i lead the packs on my backs to them i'm gonna try to go in here and like get exactly what i need it's giving target you know what i mean like target practice you go in and you get what you need to get and you get out that's been the biggest oxymoron of the century is that target there's nothing precise about target you go in there and then they have you walk in a whole maze and then you buy a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need right, here it is it's all here Get into it, how this is an odd place. I mean, they're just like in the middle of the road. Cookware, there's also food, the popcorn, vegan dope, double popcorn. Turn up, roasted garlic, parmesan, popcorn, there's mixed nuts, vegan salt and vinegar. Oh, here we are, girl. Turn up. So there's a whole griddle here. Oh, it's heavy duty and it's cute. Cut it your way. It's your business. <laughs> These little salt and pepper shakers are also so cute. The little doggies. Nah, what happened to that cart? What? I don't know, what's the last time I picked up this camera? Girl, can you, should I keep, let me. I gotta do my hair. I'm going to the movies today. I'm gonna go see that movie, Megan, because it seems like a whole lot of fun and I'm gay and 
I think the gays are going to watch it, and so I need to watch it. I'm going to see Megan at the dining theater, so I'm going to go and, like, order food for tonight. I'm done with meal prep, and tomorrow I think I'm going on a trip. I think. I purchased the chick ticket, but I don't know if my friends are still going, so I have to, like, confirm with them. And if they aren't still going, like, I'm, I'm canceling my trip. <laughs> like, I'm really about to fly to a place and not even know if my friends are going to be there. But anyway, it's Tuesday, so I get the discount tickets if you sign up for amc stubs or whatever and it's free you can get tickets for five dollars on tuesday five dollars any other time it's like tw fifteen dollars <laughs> what a beautiful little gift to myself you know take myself out on a date for five bucks because i'm not paying for the full price i'm gonna also just order food typically go to the dining theater because they have nicer seats the seats are so plush they recline and you can order food so let me see what do they have chicken tenders flatbread chopped cob salad bacon mac and cheese chicken quesadilla what if i just don't <laughs> what if i just don't eat here i don't have to eat this stuff the last time i went the chicken tenders i've heard some people say that they weren't that great but when i went i was like these are amazing for movie theater chicken tenders girl these was good i was like who in the back jack drake and josh but i also don't want to pay 18 dollars for it that's that's a little crazy 18 dollars could like feed me for a whole week and a half anyway my total is seven dollars i'm going to the movies for seven bucks oh also you get free refills on large popcorns when you um are part of this little stubs program if you have a family this is absolutely worth it get like three kids in a row or a big friend group go get your free refill you can all share the popcorn oh my god you know what is so good those watermelon sour patch kids oh my god i want those so bad but i can't do artificial sugar i really am trying to get rid of the artificial sugar I want to bring a gift to my friends when I go to Houston from Phoenix. Hi. And this place is called Urban Cookies. And one of my friends in Phoenix brought me like some cupcakes from here. And they were so tasty. I know they have like some really cute flavors and stuff. So I want to just like bring a box of stuff to the girls. I want to see if I can like place an order to pick up. Because I'm not leaving until Thursday morning. And it's Tuesday. Grapefruit, brown sugar, yes, medium, strawberry, banana, coconut, carrot cake. <gasps> And the freaking donuts. Yay! Okay. Actually, wait, I'll take a tangent. I'll take a donut. <laughs> I got a donut home. I wanted to try one of their like citrus situations. So I got a tangerine donut. I really just told myself I wouldn't eat artificial sugar, and I'm pretty sure there's like powdered sugar and all that stuff. But I couldn't resist how. Okay. She's a small business. And here we go. Oh wow. Oh wow. She's very dense. It's a cake donut. She's like a heavy donut. You get your money's worth. Wow. It tastes like real tangerine. Let's go. I'm here at Alta, or not really. I'm here at every place actually. Girl, cause it's one of them places where you just go to store, to store, to store, to store, to store. Ulta, Old Navy, Best Buy, Five Below, Michaels, Bed Bath & Beyond, Marshalls, Staples. Girl, and then there's a there's in and out right around the corner, the container store. We got Whole Foods on the other side, <laughs> Trader Joe's. It's all here. It's all here, baby. It's where the action at. Ugh, I really need to get sunglasses like ASAP. If I go to Houston, I think while I'm in Houston, I'm going to look for sunglasses. I hate Ulta because I feel like all in there, like walkie-talkies, there's like 85 people circling the store and they feel less like people are, who are going to help you figure out what you need to buy and more like just security guards that all have like a mesh system of like walkie-talkie system. And they're all like, did you talk to him yet? But I'm looking for one hair product in particular. Uh, professional hair care. Wow. The way that Rihanna has truly blazed the trail. Hair salon in the back of Alta. I'm looking for Inner Sense. Girl, they got this stuff. They got Myel Organics. All the stuff back here. TGIN. Have y'all tried Curlsmith? I feel like it's giving Shea Moisture a little bit. Where there's just too many hair products and you don't know what to use. Now they got the black girl with the wig and the weave section. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the fro. We got a leave-in cream, oil, hair gummies. We got some hair gummies. Can you help? Yeah, sorry. I'm like hovering. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to do your thing. Um, so I'm looking for these products called Innersense. Innersense. Do we carry Innersense? Is that hair or, or yes. skin? Hair. Hair. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. Right over here. Because I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I'll guide you. Right here. Not a huge line, oh, okay, it's just perfect. that one shelf. Perfect. Oh. That's why I was like, yes, I know. Okay, I, I oh, found yeah, them. okay. Professional clean hair care for all. We love that. Cute. 
I'm not going to get all of This is expensive. Y'all, they expensive. So these are intercepts. This is what y'all been talking about, yelling at me to buy. But look, one thing is $30. If I were to buy this whole line, that would be easily one, two, two, two three, six. Girl, too much. But y'all told me to get the I Quit Hold Gel. The, like, bottle broke. As soon as you, like, picked it up the cashier, the whole top thing came off. So I'm going to pick up another one. I don't know what's going on, but all of them are, like, stained. But this is the only other one, so I'm gonna get this one. Hi. Good. Okay, I'm in freaking Old Navy, which I don't know how this place is still up and running, because they said the same thing. I've been coming here since 2013, 12, in person. It's college, and they still sell the exact same. Like, I'm sure this shirt has been sold here. This little polka dot blue shirt for years. Girl, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, I guess. <sighs> I'm looking just for, like, shirts, like a plain shirt for whatever reason today i'm feeling a, a little bit like a dad it's giving like young dad and uh it's kind of cute yeah it's looking like a dub Ooh.